that many. Yeah, probably. That is, that is probably all. Ignatius 47 here. And uh, we figured out, I figured out <laughs> by being told what happened. And uh, I had my Pip-Boy app enabled thing on. And one of these crazy yo's was taking off my armor and all of that while, while I was in there. And the timing was just perfect and fucking hilarious. So uh, I just had to mention that. It was really, uh, it's not a glitch. <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys. They were just fucking with me while I was trying to play the game. I have it deactivated now because I don't actually use the app. Uh, I just, well, I, I would rather go to it in like on the screen, mostly because it pauses the game, so I cannot die while I'm trying to heal. Stim packs do. Stim packs, though, I've noticed stim packs heal faster oh, than food yeah, does. Uh, <clears throat> I just, you have to have. <coughs> The medic perk, the first medic perk, is what you need for um, to to be able to build the medical like stand at your base. You have to have that, and of course, both ranks of uh, the, the 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 leader thing, local leader. It uh, medic is. <coughs> Medic is under intelligence, yes. I knew as soon as you saw us doing this, you were going to try to do that to me. I'm not fucking stupid. <coughs> See, I, I had that. I had 67, that. 80. What? what? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Medic, when it's all the way up, stim packs and right away restore all lost health and radiation. Just bam. And work much more. Dude, that's fucking awesome. It is level 40. No, that's 49. 49. Still, boss. You can get this whole tree built. We barely scratched the surface in this game. I know. Oh, I have the pull cue equipped. You bastard, equip the pull cue. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did that too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, by the way, this is Grognak's axe. Uh no, what's 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 kind of frustrating about it is. <clears throat> it causes stagger and targets take bleeding damage. But you can't modify it. You can't modify it. But you're upgrading. You're upgrading. Right. Right, but you're also taking ranks in the uh, melee, like like melee bonus damage, right? Yeah. I don't have any of those yet. This is this is its base damage is forty. I have so. As well. It doesn't do as a lot of damage. But <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking sword. It's crazy. This is this is the axe. It's a great axe. That looks really awesome. How are how's the bat? I don't know, to be honest with you. you do I've never killed with vats. Like a... Never killed oh. with it using vats. Oh. Sharpshooter. Yeah, that'll work. Man, all kinds of tasty loots, man. Oh, and this is just what I do personally. Uh, I do have stem packs right away and purified water. Ready to go. As, as quick, nice quick heals. In the event that I need it. And this is some freaking sweet paint. Shark shark paint. I don't have I need I, I need more actual like parts, pieces so I can put it on this one. The other one I have is actually just the shell and it's it's over here. Just the shell. Which the shell looks badass. Like that would be a pretty cool like way to just like go about um, is there lightweight armor for this thing or no? Lightweight armor for what? The uh, power suits. I don't. The, the weight's not really an issue for uh, the power well, armor. You have your armor pieces equipped to the power suits. They don't count for the 
Is there agility bonuses maybe? Okay. There uh, actually yes. Uh, the shark paint when it's on on every piece, I get an agility boost. See, that's pretty awesome. And you said you found that. Yeah, um, it's a magazine that you find in the Adam Cat's garage, which is uh, down here. It's right here. Um, not very. I was pretty low level when I went over there too. Oh, uh, side note, this is kind of off topic a little bit. The Charisma bobblehead is in the Parsons State Insane Asylum, and it's part of a quest. You cannot get in it without the key that you get as part of a quest, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, <clears throat> it just happens to be in there. I mean, it's whatever. The uh the the agility bobbleheads down here somewhere. I haven't gone to get it yet. It's it's on a it's on a boat. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. <laughs> me. In the Boston uh, library. Oh right. While I have time and uh wait before I do that before I do that. Nope 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 nope. I'm I'm at the uh. No. No, oh, oh, I, I have freed the castle. So you fought the Meyerlich Queen, then? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have. Yeah, I thought... And I have the artillery guns, which I need to show you guys. Yeah, show me, where, where do you get the artillery guns? Okay. You have to do a quest. It's a quest. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I'll kind of, I'll kind of do a brief, like, run-through of this for you guys, just to, just to show you... The, the the system the, the the format in which you go about getting it and then well I'll show you the gun first of course uh, yay this is the artillery gun what's weird about it to me is that the artillery gun and it may have to do with with the the, the rate of fire I would imagine but this gun, when you have a dude on it, grants you six shield points, whatever the fuck, the, the defense system. Uh, and there's th there are several turrets that actually grant more than that. Probably because they shoot faster. However, uh, oh, where does that go? Nice. Oh, it's a kitchen. Cool. I really like, and I'm looking forward to um, modifying this place. But you go, you start here in the in in, in the general's office. Uh, oh, hey, there's like wine in there. Neat. There's rubble here, which you clear it by going into workshop mode, and you just you get six concrete for it, I think. And you go down in here, and you go through the tunnels. I won't go through the tunnels because it's it would just take a little while. But down there, there's there's really no combat. There's a lot of mines. Like, mines are fucking everywhere, so watch out. And there there's some, like, glowing fungus and some brain brain fungus and all that fun stuff down there to, to gather for various purposes, at which point you get to this button, which opens this door that was closed. And in here is where you get all of the equipment you need to build the artillery guns and the plans for the same. <coughs> so... This is a quest you have to do. Uh, and now, once you get it, and this is the freaking awesome part, if they're within... if you're within range of artillery guns, and once you finish this quest, you can build the artillery guns at all of your bases. And you throw the little smoke bomb thing, which I could do, but I, I'll, I'll probably save that for later. Uh, they lob artillery shells and just bomb the shit out of the area. <coughs> which is... Fan it, it, it does... I would imagine, anyway, that you could probably uh, kill a behemoth with it. Assuming the behemoth would stay in the area. 
That's true. I could. Let's do that. I'll quick save. I'll show you a little taste of it. Yeah. Oh, it's auto saving. Sorry. Freeze it up a little bit. We're good. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, we're gonna throw the throw it over there. The blue smoke goes up. Now, if you have, of course, once you unlock the radio, which I did off screen as well, uh, it's called Radio Freedom. Of course, it plays music, um, but then you get if you wait for it, got your coordinates, and then the bombardment begins. Here in the lit, it takes about 20 seconds for it to, to really kind of kick off. It might be a little more than that, but point is, well, it's it's going to start over here, and and they shoot like five times. But look at the size of this, of, of this explosion! Holy shit! Right? But that's not the only one. Oh, you killed something. Oh. <laughs> um, I'll have to check that out once the bombardment stops. It stopped. Go. Nah. No, it hasn't either. Go. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like that, just coming down a bunch of secret pieces, flying everywhere. I could use that. I could use that to take down the Brotherhood of Steel's airship. airship. Hypothetically. Uh, I probably won't, because I like the Brotherhood of Steel. But, uh... <laughs> Science one day. You never know. We, we could always try it. Yeah, the big-ass airship. I doubt it. I don't think the big airship can take damage. I know the Vertibirds can, because I've taken one down. Off screen, of course. Uh, yeah. So. Oh. Uh. That's a good question. What did I kill? I've killed a lot of creatures, guys. I'm curious as to what it was I blew the hell up, though. And I, I, it's probably like in the water somewhere. I am not concerned about it. So. Uh, and we're at a, you know, I don't care enough to do that. We're good. Like, I have eight, and honestly, I don't foresee, unless I'm finding something very powerful that's stationary, I don't foresee that being overtly useful. Oh, there's the airship. Or if I'm trying to, like, destroy, Is that a uh, <gasps> no, it's not. Oh, dude, that I was like, like yeah, it looks like Liberty Prime. <laughs> oh, my God. Do I get a Gundam? That would be badass. I see a mod coming. Oh, dude, that would be a freaking sweet mod. What I need to work on, though, and I'll probably do some of this off screen, I need to work on getting the Aqua Lad or Aqua Boy, whatever the hell it's called, where you don't take rads from being in the water and you don't, uh, you can breathe underwater magically. Uh, <laughs> which is awesome, and I want it because it'll, it'll make my life a lot easier in the long run. And we're out of time for this video, actually, so we got to, I didn't get a lot done in terms of story, but kind of showcased a lot of things that I did off screen that uh, would have taken a lot more videos to actually record doing. So, uh, till next time, guys, Bone Vatuna. See you next video.